Austin police tells us diverting non-emergency calls to 311 has helped with officers' response to dangerous crimes. But the department admits this has created a backlog responding to low-priority crimes. KXAN's Brianna Hollis takes an in-depth look for us tonight. This is Marcus Dubois' new truck that he often takes his pup bear for rides in. So I walked out one day to find my truck window smashed. So he headed to iReportAustin.com. Basically the whole internet setup, drop down menus weren't really kind of clunky, not working. So I had to drop into 311. He says he had to talk yeah, to multiple back people back. just to file the report. Yeah, it should have been like a five minute tops. In 2021, online crime reports were up 158% from 2020. In October, APD asked the public to stop calling 911 for non-emergencies, so minor crashes and crimes like theft and vandalism should go through 311 or iReportAustin.com. We have seen a backup in responding to those 311 customer service requests. In 2019, over 100,000 non-emergency calls for service went through 911 operators. In 2021, that number dropped to just over 50,000. APD's head of emergency communications, Lieutenant Kenneth Murphy, says diverting those low priority calls to 311 has allowed APD to get to emergencies more quickly. So therefore, uh, we're freeing up officers to be able to respond to those higher priority calls. Like this one. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Where officers saved a 10 year old girl when her family's apartment caught fire. How it affects our priority three calls, our lowest level calls for service, those calls are going to hold longer because we have officers responding to the most urgent calls. Amy Morales is one of the first people we spoke with after the change. We are a small business in the city of Austin, so a $50,000 hit is a lot of money. She says she still hasn't gotten answers on a theft she reported from her construction site in October. I'm not going to bash our police because we, we need them. You know, I just would like more of a communication line. You know, we're working on it, you know, I don't know, something. We are doing everything we can uh, within the police department, um, including uh, looking at new technology to bring in to solve this situation. ABD says staffing struggles in the emergency communications department contribute to that backlog. Two years ago, police say the department would get 100 to 200 applicants for a single posting. Now they only get 50 to 60. And with the stringent job requirements, there's typically only a 2 to 3% higher rate. Britt? Brianna, thank you. And just yesterday, the Austin Police and the Greater Austin Crime Commission revealed the results of a study determining the number of officers on patrol to keep an optimal response time to calls. The study determined a six and a half minute average response time is best. Now, in order to do that, the study calculated APD needs to add roughly 100 more patrol officers. A machine learning model was used to sift through five years worth of Austin Police call data. Kathy Mitchell is with the criminal justice reform group Just Liberty, and she also had a seat at the table as Austin revamped how its police cadets are trained. She takes issue with the model. The entire program is based on the idea that we are never going to use our officers differently than we used them during the period in which this data was created. In fact, we have already started using our officer time differently. Any changes to police staffing levels would still need city approval. You can check out our complete continuing coverage right now with this story at KXAN.com.